All right, a Republican senator who unsuccessfully tried to oust Minority Leader Mitch McConnell from his leadership role has now been ousted from a key committee by McConnell. Speaking to reporters yesterday, Florida's Rick Scott revealed that he had been replaced on the Senate Commerce Committee. Scott said he learned the decision in a text message. Mm, when asked, nice. well, got to let him know somehow. When asked if he thought the move was in retaliation for his challenge to McConnell's leadership position last year, Scott said, <laughs> quote, I probably ran the biggest company of almost any senator in the history of the country. He certainly uh, had, a, you know, committed the largest, what, what was it, Medicare fraud? Yes, Medicaid that. Fraud? I've like, got a business record. background. Yeah. So he, you he should ask him. Calling. In November, Scott received just 10 votes in his bid to replace McConnell. I don't think a lot of folks were on board. Yeah, One of no. those votes came from Utah's Mike Lee, yeah. who was also replaced on the Senate Commerce Committee. A spokesman for McConnell's office declined to comment on the situation. It is worth noting that the big company Scott mentioned running was forced to pay nearly $2 billion in fines for defrauding Medicare under yeah, I, his leadership. So if you're wondering why you just got a text message, yeah. I don't think it was worth the phone call. Well, you know, and also, I just like, you know, Rick Scott bragging about his business background is like George Santos bragging about his resume. Like, why do you even draw attention to it when you had to pay $2 billion in fines for, for defrauding Medicare? It's Lawrence, um, Wait, don't you want the update on the monkeys? In a second. Lawrence <laughs> wants to hear about the update on the, the Dallas Zoo monkeys in a second. But first, Lawrence, you know, I, I, we, we talked about the decline of, of, of the intelligence of, of some of these members. I, I, from the time it happened, I mean, I can't, I can't understand most of what Rick Scott does, but I couldn't figure out why he was running against <laughs> Mitch McConnell. He wasn't going to win, and we all knew it was going to end up this way. Yeah, it, it's. I, I looked at it, and I, it, it's obviously something that could only be done by someone who simply doesn't understand where he is. Uh, did he think this was? Oh, I think I might run for class president this year. Uh, this is. Yeah. You know. You know. There's, there's a, a thousand reasons why you don't do this unless. And there's one reason to do it. The one reason to do it is you will win. You will get more mm -hmm. votes than Mitch McConnell, and you will win. And by the way, you know the answer to that before you do it. Right. So you go yeah. into the room, you know exactly how many votes you have, and you still do it. It's one thing to try to get the votes, you know, before you go into the room, and then you realize, oh, this is hopeless. And then you kind of go and apologize to Mitch for <laughs> even thinking about it and be really, really nice to him. Uh, but but no, I mean, and, and Mike Lee, you know, just so goofy. And, and when you're sitting there, by the way, you know you're sitting there with a special gift, which is uh, three right. so-called a committees uh, that the leader lets you have instead of two, which is the rule is supposed to be the maximum, but we'll make a special exception for you. You can have three. The leader lets you have that. No one else lets you have that. You're, you're going to go and defy him and then expect him to continue to do you that favor on those committees yeah. and then complain when he doesn't. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's I mean, good. it's ridiculous. Come you on know, now. It's one thing if there's a vacancy. In, yeah, in, yeah. In, a, in a position, and then everybody runs vacancy. And that's proper nobody, retaliation. Nobody takes it. Nobody takes it personally. If if as long as everybody's you know just fighting for the yeah. same thing. But man, if you're running against a guy that's been running your caucus for that long, you better win. Yeah, mm -hmm. Lawrence, thank you. Uh, we'll be thank watching you. the last word. What are you doing tonight, Lawrence? What are you, what are you going to yeah, be? Yeah, you already booked. I know you don't usually figure that Is out until nine thirty. Did you book? I think I you know, yeah. Yesterday was the only day I could have answered that question for you. I knew I was doing the yeah. Rod Klain interview yesterday. Normally, at this hour of the day, I have no idea, and I'm asleep. So I, I'm okay. awake, but I have no idea. I love Lawrence. Go back to sleep. All right, weeknights, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on MSNBC, The Last Word. Yeah.